Good morning. Today we'll be doing the Liturgy of the Hours morning prayer for March 19th. Today is the Sunday of the fourth week of Lent. Let's have that moment of silence before our prayer. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Take up your cross, the Savior said, if you would my disciple. O oh God, my God, I give you thanks. You are my God, I shall proclaim your glory. Give, give thanks, thanks to the Lord, for, for he is good, for his love endures forever. Let the sons of Israel say, his love endures forever. Let the sons of Aaron say, his love endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, His love endures forever. I called to the Lord in my distress. He answered and freed me. The Lord is at my side. I do not fear. What can man do against me? The Lord is at my side as my helper. I shall look down on my foes. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. The nations all encompass me. In the Lord's name I cross them. They compass me, compass me about. In the Lord's name I cross them. They compass me about like bees. They blazed like a fire among thorns. In the Lord's name, I cross them. I was hard pressed and was falling, but the Lord came to help me. The Lord is my strength and my song. He is my savior. There are shouts of joy and victory in the tents of the just. The Lord's right hand has triumphed. His right hand raised me. The Lord's right hand has triumphed. I shall not die. I shall live and recount his deeds. I was punished. I was punished by the Lord, but not known to die. Open to me the gates of holiness. I will enter and give thanks. This is the Lord's own gate where the just may enter. I will thank you for you have answered, and you are my Savior. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This is the word of the Lord, a marble in our eyes. This day was made by the Lord, 
we rejoice and are glad. O Lord, grant us salvation. O Lord, grant success. Blessed is the name of the Lord, is he who comes. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord God is our light. Go forward in procession with branches, even to the altar. You are my God, I thank you. My God, I praise you. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. For his love endures forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O God, my God, I give you thanks. You are my God. I shall proclaim your glory. God of might, deliver us, free us from the power of the enemy. Blessed, Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. And blessed is your holy and glorious name, praiseworthy and exalted above all for all ages. Blessed are you in the temple of your holy glory, praiseworthy and glorious above all forever. Blessed are you on the throne of your kingdom, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Blessed are you who look into the depths from the throne upon the cherubim, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Blessed are you in the permanent of heaven, praiseworthy and glorious forever. Bless the Lord, all your works of the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. God of might, deliver us. Free us from the power of the enemy. Praise God for his mighty deeds. Praise God in his holy place. Praise him in his mighty heavens. Praise him for his powerful deeds. Praise him surpassing greatness. Oh, praise him with sound of trumpet. Praise him with lute and harp. Praise Him with timbrel and dance. Praise Him with strings and pipes. Oh, praise Him with resounding cymbals. Praise Him with clashing of cymbals. Let everything that lives and that breathes give praise to the Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Praise God for His mighty deeds. A reading from the book of Nehemiah. Today is holy to the Lord your God. Do not be sad and do not weep for today is holy to our Lord. Do not be saddened this day, for rejoicing in the Lord must be your strength. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Our scripture today says, today is holy. What does that mean? Today is holy. Do not weep. Do not be sad. For today is holy. It is a call to us. You know, all of us here praying the Liturgy of the Hours, we pray every day. We are all prayerful people. So what does it mean when we're being called to be holy? Look at our Liturgy of the Hours prayer, when we pray the Benedictus. 
Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people to set them free. And then later on we go, You, my child, are the prophet of the Most High, for you will be go, go before his way to set his people knowledge. What does that mean to be called a prophet of the Most High? A prophet is one who speaks the word of God, who lives the word of God, who loves the word of God. Is that seen in us? So my brothers and sisters, when we are being called to be a prophet, we are called to a deeper relationship with God. We are being called to a holiness. It's not just prayers that we are called to, but we are called to a deeper prayer. And what does that mean? It means that every word that comes out of our mouths is a blessing, not a curse. When every action that we do gives glory to God, not to ourselves. When we live our lives from the minute we wake up up to our sleep, it gives glory to God. We live God, we love God, we serve God. We are living our lives as a prophet. And as a prophet, we are living a holy life. So, when we say, today is holy, no matter what struggles or trials we have during the day, let's trust God. He's a loving daddy. We do not really need to weep. We really do not need to worry. We do not need to be sad because we know we have a daddy who will care for us because as a prophet, our lives, our daily lives, will become a holy life. Brothers and sisters, let us not be sad. Let us not weep. Let us not be lonely. For today is holy. Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy on us. Christ, Son, Son of, of the, the living, living God, God have mercy on us. You were wounded for our offenses. Have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy on us. It was unheard of for anyone to open the eyes of a man born blind until the coming of Christ, the Son of God. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was his oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadows of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. It was unheard of for anyone to open the eyes of a man born blind until the coming of Christ, the Son of God. Let us give glory to God, whose kindness knows no limit, through Jesus Christ, who lives forever to intercede for us, let us pray. Kindle in our hearts the fire of your love. 
God of mercy, let today be a day rich in good works, a day of generosity to all we meet. From the waters of the flood you saved Noah through the ark. From the waters of baptism raise up to new life those under instruction. May we live not by bread only, but by every word falling from your lips. Help us to do away with all dissensions, so that we may rejoice in your gifts of peace and love. At this time, let's pause for a moment to lift up our prayers and petitions to God our Father. Almighty God and Father, we lift up to you our prayers and our petitions, together with the prayers and petitions of each and every one who are praying with us this morning. We ask, dear Father, that we hear and answer each and every prayer as we pray. Kindle in, in our, our hearts the fire of your love. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, we now pray the prayer Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Father of peace, we are joyful in your word. Your Son, Jesus Christ, who reconciles us to you, let us hasten towards Easter with the eagerness of faith and love. We ask this through Christ our Lord, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord and one another. Thanks be to God. Thank you for praying with us. We hope you can join us again tomorrow. Same time, same place, same channel. Have a great day.